This Lent 2021, the Carmelite Sisters of Baltimore have invited five people to share their prophetic dream, their hope for a transformed world. Our fifth and final prophetic dreamer for this Lent, the fifth Sunday of Lent, is Sister Teresa Maya, CCVI. What is my dream? My hope for a transformed world. My dream is that we truly learn to notice and understand the signs of the times. I dream for a human family that can pay attention, not just to the signs of the times of doom and apocalypse, which has been very tempting over the last year, but also for the signs of new life, of what God is already doing among us, the signs of a world transforming already. Today's reading has a voice that speaks from heaven that some only heard as thunder. Earlier in Lent, we prayed with the story of the transfiguration, where a cloud overshadows and there's a voice that speaks through it. There will be more clouds during the Holy Week readings, clouds that overshadow dark clouds. And we know about dark clouds. In fact, Pope Francis has been inviting us to look at the dark clouds in his new encyclical and to notice what God is asking of us in those clouds. The voice of God is in the clouds. So I dream we notice that we notice everything. One of the most beautiful things I ever heard Sister Sandra Schneider say is that the future doesn't suddenly start, that it is already among us. But we have to notice. We have to notice the sprouts of new life. We have to learn to recognize them and then to encourage them and to make sure that they grow to what God expects them to be. In other words, we have to be looking also to the signs of the times that speak of transformation, that speak of human dignity, of restoring creation. And there are so many among us. The trouble is that the dark clouds and the difficult signs of the times, those that speak of doomsday are so attractive often, and many times the only ones we notice. So I dream that we can broaden our heart and our mind and our soul to perceive the new, to perceive the moment of transformation right in front of us. And that way, that way we will then really enter into that prophecy of Isaiah. Behold, I am doing something new. Can you not perceive it? Can you not perceive it? What kind of conversion is required of us that we can broaden our sight, our mind, to notice also those positive signs of the times? All those people that are doing something for the neighbor, politicians that are trying to do something for their respective countries, uh, organizations that are transforming, that are creating a better future, people that are caring for our environment or restoring it in beautiful and wonderful ways. Maybe then we will understand what Jesus said, the reign of God is at hand, it is here, and also not yet here, but it is here. It is among us. In order to enter into this process of transformation, we need to begin by noticing. We need to begin by seeing with the set of eyes, with the heart that will allow us to perceive what is already happening among us. Here in Texas, we had a terrible winter storm. And one of the most beautiful stories I read was about neighbors who in November had signs that were of different colors. But during that week, they crossed the street to make sure that their neighbor was okay. We can do this. We can notice those things that are leading to transformation and we can give them a chance. And then we will be part of this process of transforming our world to what God dreams for all of us. 
Thanks to the five prophetic dreamers we've listened to this Lent, Dr. M. Sean Copeland, Sister Gloria Schaub, Dr. Kim Harris, Father Mikhail Woodruff, and Sister Teresa Maya. You can hear the reflections again by visiting our YouTube page. We hope you will join us for our Palm Sunday Mass next Sunday at 9 a.m., Father Matt Gummis, Oak Harm, presiding, and our Easter Sunday Mass, 10 a.m., Father Brian McDermott, presiding.